Hey everyone, it's Clay from How To Apps, and right now I'm going to show you how to go about connecting an external monitor to your Mac machine, whether that be a desktop or a MacBook laptop. I'm also going to show you a few customizable settings and the system preferences to tweak and adjust to what you prefer, and then go over a few different scenarios based on what type of monitor you're using. All right, so. I use just a small flat screen TV which connects via a HDMI cable. Uh, a lot of modern day computer monitors will also use an HDMI cable, but some might use a USB cable, so that's just something to be aware of, what type of cable it's supported. And then also if your Mac uh, requires an adapter to connect to those, because I know for a while the MacBooks have kind of done away with the regular ports on the side of the computer, and so a lot of them uh, in the past few years will require adapters to connect to stuff like USB and HDMI. So just make sure that you have those things and then you're ready to just plug in. And as soon as you plug in your monitor into your computer, then it should immediately put your desktop on that monitor. And now I'm going to show you a few settings that can be found in the system preferences. And that is found in the top left corner the Apple icon click on that and then here's system preferences in this menu and then go to the bottom row and on the very far left there's an icon that says displays click on that now if you successfully connected your monitor to your Mac then you should immediately be brought to this screen and this just allows you to customize where uh, based physically on where your monitor and computer are set up so I've got my monitor to the right of my computer here, but you might have yours above or to the left or below. So all you have to do is just click and drag this and then you can put it to wherever you want. So say, let's say my monitor is above my computer. Now when I move my mouse up, it will go to the second screen as opposed to the right or left. So that's pretty handy. So that's just if you happen to have your monitor on another side and you it's like on your right side but it won't let you go to that you have to go to the left this is just something to be aware of um, so it's good that it's the first thing all right so next we're gonna go to display settings here this button and in here you've got just the regular display settings for your Mac screen but also right below it you should see the one for your external monitor click on that and I'm gonna go through all of these the first one is this use as drop down clicking on that now we are able to see if we want to extend our display or mirror our display so I've got it on extend and that basically just creates another screen and so uh, stuff that I have on here won't be duplicated on my other screen I can have stuff on both mirroring is just that it's mirroring exactly what's going on on this screen so my mouse movements and functions and controls and everything are going to be mirrored exactly on the second monitor so it's just whatever you prefer or you can make it your main display if you'd like to do that next is resolution here's just default for display but if you click on scaled then it shows you the resolution for what it defaults to on your monitor and then it also you can switch it to 1080p or 720p if you'd like to do that I would recommend just keeping on default because Mac is pretty good about knowing what looks best on your monitor. Next is color profile. This is pretty much the same. Uh, it shows a bunch of different color profiles that's uh, supported for a bunch of different monitors. Just like with the last one, it already recognizes that this is an HDMI TV. And so you don't really have to do anything, but as you can see, there's stuff like, you know, just color LCD, or there's Panasonic TV, so it just is able to adjust for the monitor that you're using. And lastly is rotation. So this is just for if you have a monitor that's able to rotate. Uh, I've got mine just set up regular, regular like widescreen, but um, let's say you took your monitor and made it vertical. You could say to your Mac, okay, this is what I've done, so I want you to be aware of this, and it'll, it'll adjust the display 90 degrees to support that or 180 or 270 just whatever angle uh, or degree that you've got it set up as uh, I've have mine on just standard all right 
So that's setting up an external display with your Mac and setting up the settings based on what you prefer. This video helped you out. Please leave a like and a comment below and subscribe to see more tutorials like this. See you later.